when is the future of the connected car, the I, autonomous vehicle? So I think segment the market for a second. So you know, Ford has said that they will have an autonomous vehicle by 2020, but that may not be a commercial. It may not be a passenger vehicle. It may be a commercial vehicle, and and you're certainly seeing platooning and the concept of convoys of, of lorries or trucks um, being something that, that is being looked at very significantly because when you look at the commercial returns of having vehicles that can be on the road all the time because they're autonomous and you can rotate drivers or care, care, care keepers of the vehicles, that means that the productivity levels go up and therefore the trucks can be utilized that much more efficiently. So there's a very compelling cost model there. That's also going to mean that you're going to um, effectively sort of drive the learning around how do you control these vehicles. That sounds like a, a very real world view of where we are at the moment with uh, autonomous vehicles. Now you talked earlier on about the, the optimism of 5G, the pragmatism of the uh, connected car sector. Are the two coming together in any way at all? Yes, I think so. And, and it's interesting because when I talked to Etsy, they were talking about the fact that there's a, there's a possibility of utilizing the work that was done on the layer three to five in the 802.11p uh, standard onto a common chipset that may actually have both 5G and digital short range communication. On. Right, okay. So that way, you're essentially start to build into the vehicles, the, the multi-standard the capa capability. Multi capability. Right, right. And the advantage of that is the digital short range communication is for the vehicle to vehicle, but you can use 5G as well. But the 5G capability for overall infrastructure capability to do the vehicle to infrastructure is really the thing that has always been a problem because who's going to pay for putting DSRC chips right. into the, you know, the light posts or the you know, street signals or whatever. So this overcomes that and, and actually introduces this, this you know, convergence process, which I think is actually the pragmatic view going forward. Okay. Well, let's see if that happens in the, in the next year and we can check out 2018 to see where we are. Steve, thanks very much. Thanks very much.